I like to fight a little dirty, baby. Welcome back, beauties. D Beasley here. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back, sis. So today I want to come here and show you all how I got this look using some new to me drugstore items. Uh, none of these items are actually new to the drugstore, but they're actually new to me. I've never tried them out. So I thought it would be cool for me to go and pick up some stuff from the drugstore that I have been wanting to try out. Um, haven't used before, haven't tried. Um, not even necessarily never tried before, just like I don't own it. So I wanted to come here and show you all that. Um, I thought that would be cool because, you know, not everybody goes to Sephora and Ulta to pick up makeup. Even though you can get drugstore from Ulta, they're way more expensive. So I picked up all these items from Walmart. Okay, honey, they're always the best deal, okay? Just saying. So if you all want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Okay, beauty, so today we are playing in makeup, honey. Of course, duh. But I went to Walmart again. And honey, we done stacked up. So let's get into this look. I'm going to start out with the NYX Bear With Me Prime and Set Refresher. Um, this is an eight hour multitasking spray. Sensitive skin friendly, but it's supposed to be a primer, a setter, a refresher. Smells good. Reminds me of the Luminous Spray from Morphe. Smells really good. I don't show where it's like rose scented or anything like that. To prime my face, I'm going to use this. I've been wanting to try this for a while. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Base Skin Primer. This one is for mattifying. I've heard really good things about this primer too. Well, I don't want to say I've heard good things. I've seen videos where... I've seen where people have used it prior to, and then they um, they have really liked the primer. So it is like, I don't want to say it's a smoothing, but it is not a greasy formula. Feels very baby powderish, if that makes any sense. I don't want to say, like, it mattified me a little bit, but it didn't like do, I don't want to put too much on it. Sometimes when you, Sometimes if you overuse primer, like it can hurt you. So we're gonna do foundation first. So I have this NYX Born to Glow foundation. I picked this up in the shade Sienna. I have been wanting to try this one out as well. Um, I only picked Sienna up because I'm Sienna in the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation. So hopefully this shade works. Um, and it does have like this little safety seal on it. Um, let's go to the Ulta website to get descriptions. So, oh, sorry. Let me go back. So, the Bear With Me Spray. This retails for $9.97 at Walmart, which is where I picked up all of my goodies. The Primer from CoverGirl retails for $8.42. This foundation itself retails for $10 at Ulta. So, that's not much of a price difference. Um, but the shade again I picked up is Sienna, which is a medium deep with a warm undertone. Um, the Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation, available in 45 shades, delivers medium to buildable coverage and a naturally radiant finish that lasts. It also says the Natural Glow Foundation too is the key to creating a truly radiant look, whether you are looking for foundation for, for dry skin or foundation for oily skin. Okay. Okay. But it says best foundation for a dewy glow. So I don't mind having a dewy glow. I'm not like, I'm not going out and looking to be shiny, but... You know, sometimes a dewy glow will give you like a, a glow from within type of look. So, that's the shade I got. I'm going to use my Morphe E63 brush to apply it. That's a really good shade for me. Come on, girl. I like a good medium to full or medium buildable because... I can't do anything. What well, I don't say I can't do anything with it. I just like when I do my face, honey. I want to do my face if that makes sense. That I wear. This is the Sonya Cash Sponge. You can get these from Target. Okay. I do see the the glow, honey. I see the glow. See, and I started to pick up the concealer. <laughs> that goes with this foundation but I was like that's too much glow we're not gonna do all that okay we're not doing it so um I did pick up two new concealers that I have not tried well I tried this one actually let me see if I have this shade I picked up the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer I picked up the shade 
Caramel. And I also picked up the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer in the shade Natural Sand. But I think I have this one. <laughs> nope, I got Deep Tan in this one. So I have Deep Tan and then I have Natural Sand. So let's try out the CoverGirl one first. Again, this is in the shade Caramel. This is what it looks like. This is a part of their new rebrand that they did a couple of years ago. I picked up the concealer for $7.94. Let's see what Ulta says about it. Ulta's website says it's true blend undercover concealer say bye to bags, dark circles, and other skin imperfections with this lightweight concealer. The large fluffy dough applicator ensures an easy, even application and the velvety smooth formula leaves behind a matte finish that lasts all day. Comes, within 30, comes in 30 shades that will match 99% of skin tones and it's easy to find your perfect heat. Okay. Y'all know I love a good full coverage foundation. Okay, it does have the doe foot. Which a lot of companies are going with the doe foot applicator. Okay. Okay. That's definitely my brightening shade. Because you know I like to conceal and then go in and highlight. We ain't going to have to worry about that, honey. I'm going to take the Morphe E8 brush and do a little bit of light blending on the outer portion of the eye. See, when you don't know, when you've never tried it, you probably want to go in with a little bit. I know that though, but I didn't do that. I was just excited to use it because <laughs> I haven't used it before. <laughs> Going in with my foundation brush, blend them edges out before they turn on me. I like this concealer though. It looks brighter on camera than it is, actually. Because I don't think it looks that bright, but maybe I'm tripping. Girl, this concealer is full. Do y'all see this? <laughs> did I say how much that was? How much did we say it was? Undercover concealer is $7.94. And it retails for $11.99 on Ulta's website. Girl, better go to Walmart. I'm going to zoom y'all in. There we go. It's better. It's better. I don't believe I've used this on my channel, but I'm going to take this black opal uh, setting powder in the shade Neutral Light. So y'all know my mic had to die or something, but I got y'all. So I'm taking this Milani Luster Light Palette. We're going to go in the, to the deeper shade. It's called Style Icon, I believe, and I'm just going to put that right in my crease and blend it out. Then I'm going to take the second shade, which is, I believe, Long Rain, and I'm going to blend that out with Long Rain. And then I'm going to just use a little bit of concealer to um, give me like a semi-cut crease. And then we're going to go on top of that with that matte shade Eat Cake. And then go in the inner corner with the shade Luster Light, which was something like a glitter form of type of, I don't even know what it was, but I loved every minute of it. Next, I'm going to go in with this Black Radiance um, blush. This is one of their baked blushes in the shade Toasted Apricot. I absolutely love this blush. I feel like I didn't use enough, but it was like the perfect shade. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Long Rain and just bring those um, colors down. I think this is the only color I actually brought down to my lower lash line, though. Now, finally, for lips, I'm taking my KKW Lip Liner in Nude 3. Going on top of that with a nude liquid lipstick and then topping it off with my new gloss from Milani. It's a Milani Ludicrous Gloss in the shade She's All That, I believe. Absolutely love the glosses. They smell amazing. So y'all definitely have to try those out. Okay, beauty. So here's the finished look. How are we liking it? I really, really, really like this look. I say that about all my looks, but I really do. Okay. So let's go over the products. So first off, the NYX Bear With Me Spray. I like the way that this is like a three-in-one prime set and refresh. Like I said before, this does remind me of the Milani Luminous Spray. I think it's the Luminous Spray. Because of the way it sprays out, um, the smell, the smells are, both of them have a good smell. Um, I'm not sure exactly how well it primes, but I haven't had any problem or I haven't seen any problems with it. Um, so basically, it's almost like I primed twice because I went in after that with the CoverGirl 
uh, mattifying primer, the True Blend mattifying primer. And I've been wanting to try this for quite some time, so I'm glad I was able to pick it up. Um, like I said, it has mattified me. I've had this on for a couple of hours right now, so I'm looking pretty good, to be honest with you. Normally, the smile lines are peeking through. If your smile lines peek through too fast, then your primer ain't worth nothing. So that's how I rate that because... I need a good mattifying primer, okay? Um, next, we went in with the Born to Glow Foundation by NYX. I'm quite surprised by this foundation, y'all, because I don't like any type of glowy anything. I'm really surprised that this has not got me too shiny. I have a really natural glow radiance about myself, if I do say so myself, okay? I really like the way the coverage... I like the coverage mostly. I love the fact that it's medium to buildable. I don't like a light... Um, to buildable foundation. I love a good medium to buildable or I'm sorry I love a good medium to full or just straight out full. Okay, if I'm gonna do foundation That's what we're gonna do. Okay, but I really love the coverage. I don't know about y'all, but y'all It looks really good. I don't know why it took me so long to try this foundation out But I'm glad I did and I want to go back and get the um, concealer that goes with it to see how they work together because when they come out with a concealer and a foundation normally like they work better together than apart so I want to try both of those out so I'm gonna go back and pick that up next I went in with this covergirl true blend undercover uh, concealer again absolute like you must have this concealer I love the fact that um, it dry fast and it does it doesn't crease like there aren't any creasing under my eyes because um, I normally have some that are right up under here right before I have to set. I have like crease, uh, like fine lines right up under my eyes, but I didn't have a problem with them creasing. So this concealer is it. Um, I do want to try uh, out some different shades. I'm surprised it took me this long to try this out. Like what was I waiting on? Like straight up. Like, and I don't even know, I shouldn't even picked up this Milani one. I'll probably take this one back and get a different shade of that one because I already have this, but in a different shade. So we'll see. But this is a good concealer as well. So next we went into eyeshadow. Y'all, look, look. Now, you know, y'all got to get this Milani palette. I told y'all about the last Milani palette. We had a really good time with that one. And it turned out like it was a dope palette. Like, so girl, what, what? And I don't even think this one was there the last time. Like I said, I picked up the last one of these. I'm not sure if this is new or not. But if y'all see this, y'all need to grab it. This one is perfect for fall. Perfect for um, winter time. I'm not sure if these are like pressed glitters or what. But these are perfect for holiday looks. Like, you gotta have these. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be that person. But, girl, I love it. And I'm glad I got the last one. So, hmm. And y'all know... Their eyeshadows are crazy pigmented. Like, I don't even have to speak on that. The only fallout I had was with the actual pressed glitter. So, if you come across one of these, like, I know they're $15, but you will not regret it. They're more on their website. But if you see it, go ahead and snatch it up. This one is the Milani Luster Light Palette, okay? Okay, next we have the blush. I love uh, Black Radiance blushes. I've never had an issue with these baked blushes. Um, I love a good matte blush. I don't like a lot of blushes with a lot of shimmer in it. So I can really appreciate this blush. And this one is a very good um, blush for women of color, um, black women. Um, it doesn't have any uh, shimmer in it. So if you do like that type of blush, this one may not be for you. You may want to try some of the Milani ones. But this is a baked matte blush. And I love the color that it gives. Like it's a beautiful terracotta brownie orangey shade so yeah i love this the gloss love the gloss um i did put as you saw i did put a nude liquid lipstick up under it so that you don't just get my bare lip i did want you to see the actual color of the gloss so that's why i did the liner liquid lipstick and then the gloss on top but i really like this gloss i love how they smell i've never heard of the milani Ludacris lip glosses so i'm gonna have to go back and get more shades like that's the type of person i am like i want more shades <laughs> So, yeah. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me some comments down below. Are you going to try out any of these items? Like, let your girl know. I know none of this stuff is, like, brand new to drugstore, but it's new to me. If it's new to you, let me know down in the comment section. Let's talk about it. Um, again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye, beauties. I like to fight a little dirty, baby.